Hello there friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at some important questions of SAP HANA. And apart from this, we would also be looking at some general business expectations from any HANA consultant. And how do we answer these questions in an interview? Right, so when we talk of what exactly HANA developer does, then I would say that the area or the scope of a HANA consultant, uh, particularly a HANA developer or a technical person, then the scope is huge. The expectations from employers are huge because the kind of work is very wide. You have applications running right from transaction kind to analytical kind and you have so many things to take care of the complete data transformation if it's being transformed properly or not you know you have so many parameters and so many things that come or that are to be taken into account before any single action on sap hana is done at least because hana is very highly powerful and one of the latest modules which has come into the limelight of late and is shining right so when we talk of the technical questions of these so let us just begin with them the first question that we have is what is the basic difference between sap hana and oracle now both being you know a very good dbms source but what apart from this is it that makes sap hana and oracle different so when we talk of the strength compatibility and cost parameters then we have some differences so let's just look at them SAP HANA is completely customized and it is for customer server and functionality but if you're talking of Oracle then it is much easier to use it is quick in deployment and it is highly flexible talking of SAP HANA then yes we or the SAP is trying to make SAP HANA more flexible right then we have compatibility SAP HANA has an extraordinarily good compatibility and Oracle is not bad as well and then you have cost oracle definitely has a much lower cost as compared to what sap hana does because most of the cost for sap hana goes towards you know the internal resources and training so this is one part which hits sap hana the cost part but otherwise these are the strengths or you know differences between sap hana and oracle the next question we have is what are the two types of relational data you know stored in sap hana so we have two types they are row storage and column storage storage right if you're talking of row and column they do have two different functionalities and they are useful in their own different ways though sap hana has newly bought in column storage and this is functioning at an extraordinary level but yet we can never say row storage is not important and we would also look at you know what row storage is all about then you have in the third question what is the role of persistence layer in sap hana right so you have different layers as we know and this sap hana if you're talking of then it is an in-memory computing engine right it has an excess engine which is an in-memory computing one and which means that the information can be accessed straight away right without much of a processing so what happens is whenever we are doing this process the risk of losing data is also high because of any reasons it could be a power cut or it could be a hardware failure or whatever n number of reasons right so persistence layer comes as a savior or is useful at this point of time when you know all the data which is volatile right all the data which is volatile now this data is all stored in the hard drive without complete uh, you know delete of the data so you have some data or you have your important data which is stored in the hard drive and this is thanks to the persistent layer right then we have what is modeling studio so this is the place where we design everything so modeling studio is the one which actually you know declares the tables which are stored in hana and before this the first part is to go to metadata and then schedule the data replication jobs then you have you manage the service data to enter uh, you know from sap business warehouse to other systems then you manage the erp instances connection you use data services for modeling you model the hana itself 
right and then uh, you have the essential licenses for sap bio data services also so if you're talking of modeling studio then i would personally say that modeling studio has a whole lot of thing in it and what we have mentioned here are just some tasks which modeling studio can perform but otherwise it can yet perform a wide range of tasks then we have what is the row and column based approach so if you're talking of row based approach right it is a traditional relational database approach wherein the data or of the table is stored in sequence of rows but if you're talking of any column based table right then it stores okay fine we'll put column based table in this way now let us consider you have one table with the fields name class and section but when they are arranged it is name class name one class one section one name two class two section two name three class three section three that is how row based table arranges its data but in column you have data stored in exact sequence now let us consider that you want to access in the the, the class right or maybe the name or maybe the school in which someone is studying so when you are pressing or when you want to access the information of the school then not all the fields are you know taken into account you only have the school field in the column based uh, table and it is only these schools wherein the data is fetched and the information is accessed the rest two which is the name and class they remain stagnant right so this ensures that the performance is increased right and it is also optimized for column order storage so these are the two important differences between row based tables and column based tables and sap hana supports both of them now what are the different types of information views we have right we have three kind of views right they are attribute analytical and calculation views serving different purposes and showing you know or having different functionalities altogether then you have what is sap hana cockpit right now this is the initial point for all of us so sap hana cockpit is an sap fury launchpad site that allows single point of access to any range of web based applications for online administration of sap hana to simplify this let i'm sure you all must be well understood or well known with the fact what sap fury launchpad is now sap fury launchpad is nothing but it is a single page wherein you have all the applications embedded like you consider any mobile the moment you open your menu you have all the applications that you have installed or the ones that have come by default so that is very similar to what sap fury launchpad is sap fury launchpad is nothing but it is a collection of all the applications required for one organization and this is a single point of access to any person for at least that organization right and you can access sap hana cockpit through a web browser so to open sap hana cockpit what we generally do is we right click on the hana system in studio which is you know the sap hana studio which we were talking of and there you go into the configuration and monitoring and here you open the sap hana cockpit and you have it the next question is mention what is the role of master controller job in sap hana right now this job is arranged on demand and is responsible for creating synonyms or you know the database triggers and logging tables into the source systems if you want to write any new entries in the administ or you know the administration table or uh, in slt slt is the sap landscape transformation server when a table is being replicated or loaded so for all these kind of things you have a master controller job that is to be done in sap hana and this can be arranged on demand right the next question is what is the language sap hana is developed in a very small question but yet uh, i would consider this important because now that you're learning sap hana and you are about to go for an interview it's always good to notice even the smallest vital points which may be short so sap hana database is developed in c++ we have the last question of this uh, of this session that is list the merits and demerits of using a row based table so now we have already seen what is row and column based in question number 5 now let us go in a bit deeper and understand or let us answer about the row based tables 
so firstly talking of merit and then demerit so coming back to the merit you have no data approach which is faster than robust right but this is if you want to analyze process and retrieve one record at a time it's not only for one record now this is one record at a time all right row based tables are useful when there is a specific demand for accessing complete record right as we have just you know talked of an example like name school and class or name school in section now if you want to access all the information and one at a time that is when row based tables are very useful right and it is preferred when the table consists of less number of rows we are not talking of you know one lakh number of rows but let us you know consider school children you have 800 to 1000 so that should do then this data storage and processing approach is much easier and effective without any aggregations and fast searching now this is conventional right uh, this as in the row based table approach is conventional right and this approach is easier because everything is getting processed and you do not have to segregate anything right so it's quite easy to do but when you're talking of demerits right the data retrieval and processing operation both these operations one that is data retrieval and the second which is processing of the complete row you know so this is one of the biggest demerit the data retrieval and processing has to happen for the entire row although some information is not required for me to be seen or to be used so basically the only or the biggest demerit of row based table is if they are like column based or if they have another approach then they would also become much easier and highly effective but right now because every single data in this has to be accessed and touched you know this is not actually required as this also you know leads to performance and many other issues when you're talking on the real time right so these are some advantages and disadvantage of, of using row based tables so i hope you have enjoyed the session and gained some learning and some insight into how do we answer these questions now when you're answering these questions remember the base point that whatever you're talking just talk i mean i do not encourage or i'm not trying to encourage you to you know go out of the wire or go hay wire but still it is very important that when you are being asked the question you always talk even if you do not know just open your mouth and say that i am sorry i do not know this and this is much more appreciable rather than sitting silently that's the first point and second point is whenever you are talking i would always suggest that you go towards a more confident and a more easier answer approach because you do not have to frame big answers you know which might end up you know finally getting you into trouble but it is much better when you are making or giving a very simple answer with confidence so i hope now you have enjoyed the session and have had some source of learning from this so do stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet daily dose for the next video on the same very module and different modules of sap and many other things now there is a lot of knowledge yet to be shared and exchanged between us thank you all the very best and you have a great day ahead